Filter sterilization is a method used to remove microorganisms from liquids or solutions based on their size. This technique is especially useful in microbiology when heat or chemical sterilization methods are not feasible. In this video, we will demonstrate the preparation of a heat-sensitive culture media supplement, followed by its sterilization using a membrane filtration system. This approach is particularly effective for sterilizing heat and pressure-sensitive chemical solutions, as well as in situations where chemical sterilization is not appropriate. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. One important notice for you is, membership is now open on this channel. By becoming a special member, you can connect with us in the most effective way. The process involves for key steps, first, we begin by sterilizing the diluent water. Next, we will prepare the chemical solution using this sterilized water. Then, the solution will be filtered to remove any microorganisms. Finally, the sterilized solution will be ready for its intended use for this technique. We need a biological safety cabinet, an autoclave, a balance, a vortex mixer, a syringe, and a membrane filter with a pore size of 0.45 micrometers, as well as a sterile glass reagent bottle. Additionally, we need the raw materials to prepare our desired solution. Let's begin the laboratory work. In the first step, we will sterilize distilled water, which will be needed during the solution preparation. Sterilizing distilled water by autoclaving is straightforward. Pour the distilled water into an autoclavable glass bottle and place it in the autoclave basket. You can also place other items that need sterilization in the same basket. Now, put the basket into the autoclave. Close the lid tightly. And start autoclaving at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds of pressure for 15 minutes. After autoclaving, remove the water and allow it to cool to room temperature. The sterilization of the water is now complete. Next, we will prepare the potassium telluride solution using this sterilized water. Take 20 milliliters of sterilized distilled water into a sterile conical flask. We aim to prepare a 3.5% potassium telluride solution. We will now measure the required amount of potassium telluride aseptically. Disinfect the necessary apparatus, such as the spatula, using 75% isopropyl alcohol. Weigh 0.7 grams of potassium telluride on tracing paper.
Dissolve the potassium telluride in the water and shake the flask for proper mixing. Use a vortex mixer to ensure the contents are fully dissolved. The potassium telluride solution is now complete. Now, we need to sterilize the solution before use. The potassium telluride solution should be stored in an amber-colored reagent bottle to prevent light penetration, which may degrade the chemical structure. As potassium telluride is heat-sensitive, we cannot sterilize it by autoclaving at high temperatures. Therefore, we will use the filter sterilization technique. Use a sterile syringe to filter the solution. A 0.45 micrometer filter can retain bacterial and fungal cells, so any solution passing through this filter can be considered sterile. Fill the syringe with the solution. Remove the needle. And attach a 0.45 micrometer nylon syringe filter. Gently push the syringe plunger to begin filtration. Discard the first few drops of the solution and collect the filtered solution into the reagent vial. Continue filtering the rest of the solution and transfer the sterilized solution into the reagent vial.
After filtration, securely cap the reagent vial and store the solution at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius until use. Label the vial for identification. When needed, take the sterile solution out of storage and use it according to the specific instructions for its intended purpose.